Or reversal is the parry, which is also throwable. So if she wants to predict a grab, she's got to predict a grab. She has to hold that mix up even with her reversal options. Normally, they could have canceled that. Normally, a reversal makes it into like a 33, 33, 33 kind of scenario. Could have been canceled. Very nice. Oh, he went for the medium parry immediately. Not bad. Good dash in. Got the corner back. This is actually really important. Oh, threw it away again. Got it back again. Larry can always punish that, I think. The jump, that is. Command jump. That was nice. He could have cancelled that. Maybe not. Very neat. Cloud Stife is playing like he probably doesn't play this matchup that much. <gasps> wow! Yeah! Cool! Colleen is one of those characters. She's got a V-reversal that doesn't hit. That allows her to punish that. That's safe against most of the cast. Really interesting stuff. Tried for the max damage punish, was too far away. Good use of that crouch jab. Parried. That's really risky. Lynx. Neon V is a pretty good player. I can tell already. Got the crush counter, didn't cancel. That didn't stun. This is the kill. <gasps> he thought it was going to stun. Geef's on some borrowed time right now, dude. <laughs> How is he not dizzy? Okay, there it is. <laughs> cool. We should have had it Pokemon style. That would have been a lot easier to understand. But, like, I just want to have more character variety, so. Um. So now it's Ominous versus... Now it's Ominous versus Troubleshoot. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he sees it. He's falling down. God strife, I don't play Colleen's. I mean I I've I play Colleen's like a little bit and I didn't i I'd never seen that. He pulled out a lot of cool shit. Bath Cup is a one a week event. Normally they're not team cups, which is why this one's a mess. Normally people have a general idea of how this shit works. But not this one. This is the matchup I thought it would be. I mean, I've never seen Troubleshoot play. But I'm pretty sure Ominous thinks this is 5-5. Five five. Alright, really good response to Geef who likes to flex. Dash and throw. Alex has a pretty good dash. That was dash and block. That was a pretty hard read. What was he trying to get? That's not a thing you normally do. Trying to get him to do, like, stay in short lariat or something? I don't know. Hard hit and crush counter. Hard hit's extra damage, you know. I actually had a lot more counter hit only links than he does. That's my hit? Nope, nothing. Wow, Troubleshoot got kind of lucky with that one. Nice. Punishing that wake up uh, V-Trigger. Ooh, this is deadly. Oh, this kill. Geef is a pretty scary character, especially when he corners you. Especially when he knocks you down. Some of these team names are pretty great. I want to have a chance to read all of them before the end of this tournament. Oh, missed the follow-up. He could have done raw super there, I think. I'm not really sure what else. Nice completion. Tried to go for the meaty uh, stand run house. Probably trying to catch a jump out or something. Or get a crush counter, I guess. Back dash. Ominous is playing this well. Oh my god, the second low. That was like a meaty sweep from a range where he couldn't really throw. Nice.
So Ominous is teammate one. If he wins, it's over. Ooh. Ouch. This hurts a lot. 400 damage. Oh, I didn't see the stand, the running bear. Oh, that was reads upon reads upon reads. So here we actually have a match that's going down to its final round. Oh yeah, I did put spoilers. And before Cloud Strike tries to fucking challenge troubleshoot. Cloud Strike needs to go to the bottom. He doesn't even really need to be here anymore, to be honest. You want me, Shadow, and Tim Bates on stream? Yes. That sounds like a good one. That sounds like that sounds like what I thought like grand finals would be. Caesar and Bees versus Boost and uh, Sonic Soul happening right now. That's pretty scary. Boost and Sonic Soul's team is called Top Gun because Air Force. Genbu, the fucking legendary, the saint, the saint tortoise or whatever of Japanese folklore, teamed up with Slain Man, and their team is called the Tortoise and the Bear. But um, Slain Man is a no-show, I think. But that's like, such a good team name. After like the first match, this is just going to be a lot faster because everyone understands the format, hopefully. Neon played this pretty neat. I wonder if he thinks it's a bad matchup. He certainly got like matchup knowledge on his side. That was cool. Nice pickup. Not enough to stun though. That uh, command dash into low short is kind of tricky because you can also cancel it to... Um, you can do the low short by itself and then lead to a throw. Or you can do um, the low short, low fierce as a TC. And I think it's not a true block string too, so it can catch people hitting buttons. Pretty risky though. Very difficult. Troubleshoot's got like... I think he's got to slowly push like Colleen across the screen. Oh, hitboxes. Alright, got the completed combo. I wonder what Colleen can do to hit that charging Stan Fierce. Probably that. Pretty good response. Get the corner. It's really important that Colleen does not get cornered in this matchup. That's basically live or die for her. Wake up repeated backdashes. Gets, sees the SPD. Gets the max damage punish. That's pretty cool. Max damage I guess would be from Stamina House, but... Got the parry, aggressive. I'm not sure which side that hit on. Probably on the back. The stone failed to hit! Oh my lord! How aggressive! <laughs> he got me! Yo, this Neon V guy, I like this. Someone messaged me. What was it? What about this one? It's good, Spice Hut. Use a powerful vessel like yours in the new world. So that was um, Cloud Strife and Neon V, Neon V1. And now let's get. No, I want to get. I want to get Shadow Ace. 
They run out of here. So, Shadow Ace. I don't remember how he spells his name. It's like S R K. Fuck. How is it? How does? How is Shadow Ace spelled? I feel like it, that's not it. Far H Tim already joined. That's nice. Send one to Big Bates just in case. I always forget Shadow Ace. Whoa. Why does it do this sometimes? It just gets really confused when you're trying to invite someone. It's Bab joined. Oh, that worked. How did he even join? How did he do that? Someone else must have shot him the invite. So where's Big Bates? Wasn't Shadow Ace a Georgia Forte player? Is he? I think Shadow Ace. No, I don't know. BCW Shadow Ace. Where's the fucking Big Bates? He says, on my way again. Sorry. This is a good opportunity to get a big old fucking spoonful of my, um, Rita Bowl here. Never mind. Alright. So this is, um... Tim was first. Tim versus... Shadow Ace. Right? This is already in approximately the right order. Here I am. Round one. Fight. See what we got here. Birdie, um... This is probably going to be a little rough for Birdie. Birdie doesn't have that many, like, fast normals. And I'm pretty sure that Rashid can also, like... I actually don't know if Rashid's um, uh, Eagle Spike goes over Cannon or Banana. If it does, that's pretty good, though. Nice! Good reaction. That's like good awareness of Rashid's duels. My opponent put me in losers without consulting anyone. I'll open that up for you. Ugh. Eagle Spike does not go over Canter Banana. Ouch, never mind then. He's still got the, um. V skill and whatnot. I wouldn't even be trying to keep the range like this far away if I was Rashid. Yeah, Birdie's, um, 
Stand short is four frames, and everything else is slower than that, I think. Cut short might be four frames, too. And neither of those go that far. They're, like, far enough that they can help him. His mobility is not great, either. Roundhouse goes over Cana Banana. Wow, I didn't know that. Nice tick. Ugh! That should kill. Never mind. Did not clean his plate. Light uh, bullhead would have comboed there. Looked almost like he was caught off guard by his own combo working. Wonder if Rashid could punish that. Point blank chain is like minus. I forget. It's like minus 16 or something. Might be more than that. Whoa! He actually got a cool bait there. Now anti air. EX mixer immediately upon landing. It looked like uh, Tim went for the the reset. Really good pressure with that stem roundhouse. That's a pretty good button. Nice block string. Good reaction. He didn't take the throw at all, and then he was ready with the anti air. No punish. That could have been really big. Maybe not really big. That could have been a crutch fierce into something. Really good reset. Oh no, this kills, I think. No? Still alive. That meaty low forward. Really easy to get really timid when you're fighting a birdie from... Well, I mean, he was kind of far away. Low block was probably alright there. So Tim got the first one. He's looking pretty good. He's won all his matches so far. And by all, I mean both. It's not like he's fighting chumps either. So it's Bab against Bates. Tim, please. There we go. Here I am. Professional wiggling. Spab has mastered wiggling. Was that five? He must have been charging that almost since round start. Good lord. Balg is terrifying. The really scary thing is if he gets Crush Counter Crouch Fierce, he can just combo into that. Fortunately, he doesn't get Crush Counter Crouch Fierce very often. That was the reset. He just blocked the first time and then he jabbed the second time. That was good awareness. He played the mix up pretty well. Spab just lost a ton of health though. This probably actually kills. Man, Bog's pretty disgusting. What's what's happening to Balrog? He's getting a health nerf. Is that it? Nice, good jump run house. Three! And he got the conversion. No more to complete even further though. Oh my god, Balrog. That throw tech! He's the bravest man on earth. I can't believe Spab just tech the throw there. There goes his V-Trigger. He's in the corner, too. Spav has a lot of bar, though. But, like, Bawa can actually kill, like, Kemi off of one two-bar combo. Especially if he gets that V-Trigger. Ugh, no! 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 That was such a good conversion, too. Good fucking lord. <laughs> Man, those three times I got shit hurt, hit. Sure, we're bad. Um, 
That was a really good conversion. That one, uh, he blocked the overheads. Bad block that. That was like a nice overhead block. And then he got, he probably shot for two jabs, but got one jab into no, into nothing, and then still canceled it. That sucks. At the same time, that was that. Tim versus um, Big Bates advances. Or Tim and Big Bates. Damn, what a cruel world we live in. I thought I thought Spab and Shadow Ace were the man to beat. The men to beat. No. Wonder what's going on here. What's a match I can get right now? How to delete the result. I can assist. Disco. What's the what's the match? One of Disco's matches has been reported. Is it this one? Oh, these two. Oh, can we get that one on stream now? So we got Momo Ari. Sounds like a nice Japanese name. Momo Ari 95. And Zeta's here, so... Um, Dirty Llama. Nice name. I've seen llamas and I can confirm that they are in fact dirty. So I think we have Momo Ari first, right? Momo Ari? Yep. Versus Disco. Alright, he's not logged in yet. We'll just have it already. Zeta versus Llama. Disco must die. No wonder he didn't join yet. I always forget. Where is everyone? Well, there's, there's Disco, the last person I invited. Mamari95, please. I'll throw out a hundred invites if I have to. Who is the Dirty Llama? Well, this is the match that's supposed to happen. So I guess we can just have it now. And then wait. I wanted spectating to be a part of this. Okay, there he is.
Parlay is really good. I had a two for one. This guy used to play this matchup a lot. I always thought it was shitty, but he makes it look pretty good. Oh my god. Stand fierce into stand fierce. Kami couldn't find a normal to get through that. With punishing that kind of blast is really difficult. Because it's got kind of a big hitbox and then it recovers kind of fast once it actually, once the hitbox goes away. I wonder if there's a way to kill there. Could he have done EX ball into down towards fierce? That was a perfect. Three low strongs into blast. Low strong is, I think, six frames. And I don't know the plus frames at all. I'd be surprised if it was even plus two. But it's definitely not any more than that. Three low strongs is kind of an unusual. I don't know, I don't know that block string. Nice. Oh, that, was, that has to be back strong if you dash. It looked really far away. I don't think he had a combo there. Besides, like, like drill. This guy's like playing this pretty well. Alright, try to high block the, um, you always low block that. Or anti-air it if you can. That was pretty aggressive. This guy with the good punish. This is everyone here's first match, right? No. Disco's team fought Genbu, whose slime may didn't show up, and Zeta Zeta also didn't show up. So, so now we actually need Zeta Zeta. He's going to be fighting Dirty Llama. Why is stream so fuzzy? It's because in order to keep the frame rate high, prevent frame drops, um, I lowered the fuck out of my streaming settings. Sorry if it looks kind of shitty. There he is. So Dirty Llama. Just fighting Zeta Zeta. Q is such a weird word to spell. Q U E U E. Alright, they're doing it like this. This works, this is fine. Alright. I feel like the the word Q. You got the one letter at the beginning doing all the work, and then every th all these useless ass vowels just getting carried. You got four silent vowels. So it is it is going guile. There is no character lock in this tournament. The rest of the letters are they're waiting their turn. Q means tail. Very interesting. Ooh. Nice punish. Good awareness. No scenes it is it is guile. This is super interesting. I wonder if he likes this matchup more. I personally don't like this matchup. He has a juggle into back short there. A lot of people, a lot of guile players do not realize there's a juggle there. But um, it's just it's just back short and flash kick. Whoa. Raw sweep from guile is pretty risky. Maybe he was going to feature trigger cancel it or something. 
God, with the two RV trigger is pretty cheap. Very nice use of the upside down kick. I feel like there should be more moves like that, or less. Not the number there currently are. Moves that dodge throws. There are a lot of those in Street Fighter 4. I mean, Gal's upside down kick in that game was like that. Whoa. Nice. This is going to be a big punish. He went for a jump in punish. That's good awareness, but that's not even better for Gal. But it was cool anyway. That does about the same damage as his towards fierce punishes. Wow, Guile! I wonder which I throw that was. Nice. So, um, this ghost team did pretty well. Already reported. Let's get Ominous and Neon V. Good run, Momo. Good run, Llama. You're not out of it yet. No, don't leave. Neon V. Damn it. So we've got Neon V versus Disco. This is actually going reasonably fast. Now that the fucking tournament's in full swing, this is actually kind of working. And it's kind of cool, because we're getting a lot of different character variety. I wonder how much experience Disco has in this matchup. The hitbox of um, Hailstorm, the initial one, is actually pretty good. But it's pretty slow to come out, and it's unsafe on block. If you EX it though, the ice, storm, the ice shards come out a lot faster. Oh, that shimmy was pretty good. Nice scratch fierce. Good reaction, if that was indeed reaction, it looked like it. MC jump low short into throw. I like that play a lot. Normally you can't do low short into jab strong fierce. But you probably can do it after the slide. Since that leaves you abnormally close to opponents after blocked attacks. Because the slide is carried through to your normal momentum. He didn't even go for the TC, he went straight for the ice storm. <laughs> Backdash in the corner. I mean, Backdash is still throwing me in. Nice. This Colleen player has a really cool way of playing footsies. Nice! You can't contest that unless you actually punish it. Okay. He could have V triggered that. I'm surprised he didn't. That's. Okay, this, this should kill with the grab. Really nice footsies. Are there any requirements for playing in your tourneys? It helps if you're American, but otherwise, no. The requirement is join. Cool. Good whiff punish with that uh, stand short there. Light hands is minus four. Usually only punishable by light normals. And if you don't have a light normal that goes far enough, you're in a bad spot. 
in combo. I wonder what version of Blast that was. There's three versions of Blast that have different startup. I think the heavy one is plus. I think the light one might actually be a little unsafe. Ooh, good jump jab. It could have been something better anyway. But it was good that it was jump jab. It was good to get any punish there. Um, PR is usually okay. We've had we've had Puerto Rico players and they're alright. Puerto Rico is about as close as you can get to the USA without living in the USA to be honest. Besides like Mexico or Canada. And they're usually alright. Oh, he just did the straight um, V trigger. Rather than the uh, medium medium slide crash roundhouse V trigger. Ooh. Neon V. That was pretty nice. Also, I like that outfit. The blue. Works well for a nice character. So now we got Ominous versus Zeta. I don't know where Ominous found this um, this neon guy, but he's pretty great. Colleen looks pretty good, honestly. The more I see of Colleen, the more I'm convinced she's like a fine character. Is that a three? What is three on block? Is that like zero? He hit low short immediately after and got a counter hit, so... Oh my goodness, Zeta! It's very hard, very hard to make a comeback like that, even as Alex. Plus two on block for three, good lord. I thought it was like minus two and then minus one and then neutral. Two frames per number, that's disgusting. Alright, block the overhead. Very bad punish. Gets a nice combo here. Reset! He had a better punish than that, but the reset made it better still. Okay, that looks really meaty. But, um, Crush Step still comes out faster than anything Balrog can do. Even really meaty, that's still like, you know, like minus two at least. Final Tap is plus a lot, I know that. I like the idea of holding tap longer makes it better, but they went really crazy with it. I feel like if they're going to have... I feel like they shouldn't have 8 levels of tap. I feel like they should have like 5 levels of tap. Tops, probably 4. Nice. This is the beginning of a really scary... Nice! Good view reversal. Looking for a view reversal there is pretty risky. Also that parry was really good. Ten levels of tap, goddamn. Nice. Was there eight in the previous game? Like Street Fighter 2? I have this idea that there was eight at some point. I know there was... Um, I've heard, definitely heard 9 before this game. Zeta Zeta versus Neon V. Dude, Ominous is getting carried.
We are already out, so I could co-commentate if you want. The new character should actually be revealed pretty soon, supposedly. Since it's supposedly coming out at the end of this month. You should jump around house, got stuffed. What was that, a three? I spoke over when it did its number. Fun fact, even if Bog's at the Japanese, he does his numbers in English. I hate when you need to know, I hate when you need to hear, like, audio cues. I feel like it should never only be those. Damn, that was, that was aggressive. Zeta Zeta. That was probably a punish. He could have cancelled into the X uh, straight. Really nice parry. That shimmy looked pretty good. Watch out, that's stun. Next connect. Yup. He should be able to kill quite easily with this. How do many frames does re parry give? I don't know. If you parry a heavy, it's usually a punish. If you parry a light, you're usually minus. I think. I don't know if you're ever minus. Good chase. He did the full thing. That's probably a true block string. He can't find anything. Zeta Zeta's just being like kind of like a active lame. This might kill. No, that wasn't as close as I thought it was. Zeta Zeta looking super good. This is a crazy hard comeback. Good lord. Dash 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 down run house. This is this is really hard. He needs like really good meaty pressure. There goes his stun. That was like his main way of winning. There goes his V trigger, that was his secondary way of winning. Frame traps are solid anyway. What button? Jump, jump, jump. Medium kick again? Good lord. Zeta Zeta look pretty solid. Just give Vigilante and Zeta Zeta for the whole tournament, to be honest. So we've already got one side of the winner's finals. Loser's bracket is actually coming along pretty nicely. <laughs> Meat spin. Meat wad and turn. Oh no. Oh no. Mama Ari's stick crashed in the middle of a match. That fucking sucks. wonder how that other matchup is going. I want to see Meat Wad and Turn versus Boost and Soul so badly. I wonder if they're going to win. Who just got in here? Tim. Um, okay. If that match isn't going on, then I'll be happy to get that going. L Jam 24. These two want to have their set, so. And Miracle. Interesting names. Tim is first, but his little thing says second. Oh, what the fucking flag is that? 
Isn't that like fucking Jamaica or something? Cool runnings. No flag at all. I don't remember watching Cool Runnings. That makes sense if Bates gets his match first, based on the team order. Huh? Well, this just throws everything off. LJM readied up. It's Tim versus LJM. Is Akuma viable? Absolutely. Absolutely. The only character who might not be viable is Fong. Akuma, I would not even say he's viable. I'd say he's upper half. Alright, we've got an actual match going. That took a little while. Yes, you can join and make light work of all of us. In fact, that's what we all live for. Akuma has pretty good foot speed. But yeah, his frame traps are really strong. It's very easy to block your way out of a lot of Akuma mix-ups, or very tempting. So Akuma kind of has to toss you a lot. So we actually have an Akuma, and he's diamond. Nice punish. That's uh, 3 frame meaty. That should beat anything any reversal leap punish goes for. Like, but Birdie can armor through it if he's got the armor. Tim is at a severe deficit of resources though. Nice struggle. That could have been a dizzy if he did the right combo. Fucking aggressive! Gets the pickup. Season 2 change. This could still go either way. That was a good reaction. Ouch. Low jab, low fierce. This won't kill, but it'll be close. Palm. That was like a true mix-up after that knockdown. Palm versus grab was just a coin flip. Brady doesn't have way out of both. Palm's an overhead. Um... Grab hits people who high block. Grab works against all of Brady's reversals. Interesting. Tim didn't have the he wasn't he wasn't sure of himself. He didn't truly believe. So he didn't convert out of it. That's plus. Got the towards fierce, that was pretty cool. No fireball, just goes straight to the DP. Huh. That destroyed both fireballs. Out of each trigger. Grab whiffed because he Tim Crutch blocked. This should kill quite easily. Looks like it hit a chain. NTR low strong. That's not very good. 
Low Fierce in the same position would have been great. That was just incidental. Oh, I tried to whiff punish with stand forward. Anti-air jab is okay for Akuma, but it's got a high risk and a low reward. As we just saw there. Nice dash under. No meaty though. Mm, he got a meaty medium DP either of those. He's letting Birdie jump a lot. He's getting himself cornered a lot. He needs to hold his ground a little bit better. Maybe. That was a good early jump attack. Nice. The palm is an overhead. This should do a lot. It should kill. I predicted it. When I saw that, I was like, this is going to be EX Bullhead for a ton of damage. He's going to almost be dead. But nah. He looked at his meter. He was like, this is the whole deal. He saw it before I could. Tim is looking pretty good. So now it's um, Miracle and Big Bates. Has Tim lost yet? No. No, Tim has not lost yet. God, all the matches left are really terrifying. Everyone's posting the fucking... What's that guy's dark... No. I don't remember this particular Sonic's name. Nine inch nails on fingers, etc. I almost called them dark, dark, dark binds on at you. Shout outs to that. Ooh. So we got a Kareen here. That's kind of cool. Is that a four? Oh god. Cold Steel. That's it. Cold Steel the Hedgehog. Help. Oh god, it was leggy for them too. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Alright, it looks back anyway. It might be really laggy for one of the players. One of the players might be experiencing like stuff way after it happens. And keep an eye out for both of them doing reaction things. Is that a 4? Wait, was that a 4? Was he holding tap during the entire fucking time the screen was freezing? That's cheap. That's scummy, man. We might be an actual Jamaica right now. Help. Help. How is this part lagging? I've always known how dumb tap was. The very second I saw the season 2 changes, I was like, tap is going to break the game. All right. Hmm. I wonder if it's laggy for big baits. Five? You got immediately the stand short, stand jab. Because five is really good on block. Big Bates is super respecting the uh, frame trap. This should kill. Every time I see a uh, Cold Steel Hedgehog, I think of Dark Binds on it, too. Hey, 
Hey, what's up, my game boys? So that was um, that was Tim and Big Bates one, right? So that's that. So winners finals is technically we'll have to make like custom rules for fucking winners, losers, and grand finals. I'll need to think about that right now. What can we even do to make it last longer? Two out of three. That's it. That's what we'll do. We'll do two out of three for each match. Um, Meatwad and Turn, who I have in my friends list because they've been there forever. And uh, Boost and Soul. <laughs> Look at these two. Bad versus that's gonna be a fucking hell of a match. Wait, it's all the point? Wait. Didn't we do boost first last time? Wait. Wait. I think we did boost first in the first one. This is whatever. They're playing it like whatever. I don't give a fuck. However they play it is how they play it. Round one. Fight. They're going in. These two probably play a decent amount. And I can see this being a really hard matchup for Alex to be honest. Then again, Nash is one of those characters who kind of, you know, likes a reversal. Wow! That one against Stomp? That's cheap. Stomp actually has a pretty good uh, hitbox. Apart from the fact that, like, you know, it doesn't cross up or anything. Winners finals and losers finals, two out of three, yes. This pressure, Sonic Soul's playing this lame. I like that. That looked like a, looked like a medium Sonic Scythe as an anti air. LK Scythe also beats a lot of Kami jump ins and dive kicks, as I found out recently. Says Spab the Kami. Very interesting. That was lame, dude. He played that nice and lame. I believe in Meatwad though. Meatwad is the champion of F Cup. And therefore he will find a way to win this. That was aggressive. I can respect that kind of aggression. Whew, that was a good read. No, he doesn't. That's not how you do that. You gotta watch carefully which version he does. Because certain ones you can't interrupt. Was that the wrong version of... He probably went for EX and didn't have EX. However, I believe in Meatwad. That was a good dash and block. Huh? Huh? Why'd he do that combo? That was like a choke. He could have V-triggered that. He did towards Fierce Stand Strong and did EX Chop when he could have done uh, Sledgehammer. Leads to a lot more damage. That could have been a V-Trigger too. He's trying to take it real slow. But he's had a couple opportunities to win because of that. Nice. Miwa's not out of this. It just depends on how turn plays. That, like, that, the correct combo wouldn't have won him the game. I'm pretty sure the Sledgehammer into EX Command Grab, for example, only barely does more damage than the fucking EX Chop. Turn versus boost.
This is like Baff Cup against Baff Cup. This is Team Baff 1 versus Team Baff 2. Top Gun Cold Steel Soul. That fucking picture, dude, it's perfect. Oh, that was kind of a good trade for Kareen. She got the more damage plus the knockdown. <laughs> Light Sonic Boom. Oh no! Oh no! Boost reacted. Saw the uh, Light Flash Kick always punishes any 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 range of that. Boost is playing really hot. There's the turntable special. Wake up DP. Alright. That was important to keep that safe. I caught the step away. Ouch. Turntable said kill me. Really nice placement. It's really risky to go for that against um, Gal though. Gal can always punish um, sweep. It's like not a good normal against him. He can do reverse the light flash kick if he has charge, and if he doesn't have charge he can get the salmon house. Alright, this is like gonna kill. Alright, Turner's looking a lot better for that round. If he can get if it can be turn versus Sonic Soul, I'm confident in turn. But I'm not confident in turn to win this round. Not confident's the wrong word. That makes it sound like I expect him to lose. It's more like I have no idea who's about to win. He comboed out of that uh step kick, that was cool. Oh, this is like deadly. Yep. Yep, 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 that was a 50-50. Meat spin, no! I got scurred. Yeah, me too, dude. It's a scurry scenario. When Gal corners you. Alright, we're gonna keep uh, boosting soul on. Meat spin is no more. It's a shame, dude. I was rooting for them. They were like the team that I was secretly hoping would win. Get back in here. God damn it. LGM 24. And... Boost and Soul again. What the fuck? That's not how you do that. That was no brain. No brain plays. Meat spun out. I wonder if there's any hope for Team Top Gun. Where's L Jam? <laughs> I request this to be played on stream. Where's my volume? It's probably a lot of shit. So sad. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Can't hear it. Was it not audible? Should have been. Um, so we got LJM versus Sonic Soul, I guess, since their team order is apparently swapped.
Or, ugh, fuck. Whatever. However they do it, it's just fine. Team Top Gun has no rules. Alright, they're just doing this match first. So LJM was the Akuma player. He was pretty good. He wasn't bad. This is in this matchup. Both air fireball and um, red fireball do a lot of work. Having played it, this is another one of those matchups where it's pretty good until Nash gets V trigger and then it becomes horrible. A lot of Nash's matchups are like that, or rather, good for Nash. He went for the Oki sweep. Light Tatsu sweep is the absolute max Oki that um, Akuma can get off of his like B and Bs. Wow, good kind of poke. Really good. Jump back, jump back air throw. That's cool. Using the demon flip to get out of the corner. That slide is safe. In fact, I think it's plus. Wow, weird kind of poke. He high blocks the palm. Pretty risky. Low block the palm that time. High blocking the palm opens you up to the grab. The best option you have is to end here. I think Low Strong should beat the palm, and it will definitely beat the grab. I don't know if Low Strong beats the dive kick actually. Demon Flint might be really good in this matchup. Air throw should beat everything too. But if he does early palm, it should beat the uh, beat the jump air throw from Nash. Four dash after forward throw is plus six, I think. Akuma, so he can like force the opponent to wake up into a tree medial strong. Oh, he got it. That would have killed. That actually would have killed. That dive kick was well placed. If he just cancelled it into um, medium Tatsu and then got the EXDP juggle from it, it would have been over. That's punishable, but I don't know about that range. Closed up both rounds with the overhead. Uh, the team tournament, this is the first ever team tournament, and there probably won't be another one for a while. The prize is $10 cash money to the winning team. It's normally a singles tournament. The prize is normally the BAF Cup, but to encourage entrance, um, I... Uh, I'm putting I'm taking ten dollars out of my own pocket. Byron Cup when as soon as he's released.
Ground start V skill. That can probably work. Maybe just like ground start light fart fireball. Any version of fireball. Nice. But he seems to be pretty good against green players. Whoa! That was an attempted, I saw that. He tried to walk out of throw range and then hit the throw with Stand Strong. Stand Strong is a critically underutilized normal among uh, GAL players. It's quite good. The main advantage it has is that it allows him to actually frame trap. Walk in, Stand Strong, like, allows chargeless combos, which most of GAL's other attacks don't. Even with no prior charge, you can do uh, stand strong, low strong, flash kick. It's kind of precise to time. Most guy players don't really use it. But it's really good on paper. Wow! The TC! What a weird OS! I'm going to be honest, I've never seen that. Boost just pulled out some tech I've never seen. And he's still looking for it, too. That's really good. That's really good. Nice combo. Kind of hit. I could have cancelled that to like an EX boom or something. Good charging. Oh my god! Alright. EX. EX? No, nope, just the one. That's probably the right number. Nice frame trap attempt. Um, I think that can be a punish. Ooh. If you block the overhead portion of her Mujin Kyaku, it should be minus six. So Gal should be able to low strong it from point blank. He wasn't point blank though, so. Probably no punish. Maybe flash kick. That was pretty nice. I like this the stand forward at the end. Boost has a very well rounded Gal. He like uses like every one of Gal's tools. So now it's Boost versus L Jam. I've had times I've had time to grind since I got injured at work. That's the dream, man. Every time I'm at work, I'm like, I wish I could, like, I wish something heavy would fall on me. Ooh. Good back fierce. I like this. I don't. Uh, I think this matchup's pretty fair. It might be in Akuma's favor, which is kind of, I guess, vaguely a controversial thing to say since Gal's like top tier right now. Akuma has good tools here. Air Fireball, I think Gal can only anti air with the X Flash Kick. For the most part. Um, Air EX Fireball. Shit! Baits that. Help! Help! Ugh. win 10 rank matches? What the fuck, we just got kicked out of the whole thing. Is Boost even... did Boost get kicked off the game? He 
he's still online. Boost said so. He's got Piccolo as his fucking... I like that. I just got disconnected from the server. Who was winning? It was Boost, right? He was up like a decent amount, right? I don't know, it doesn't matter. Whoever was winning, it literally does not matter. It was still in round one, that's all that matters. I will solo this shit if I have debuff. Let's hope it doesn't come to that. Give me 30 fucking seconds, says Boos. Game has to load. Yeah, he got he got kicked off of the whole thing. The world's longest 30 seconds. Hmm. Bleach versus Alex is a 10 0 matchup. Give it a try. Good one. Diamond Coomer. Diamond Guile. When do we play? Soon. So what are we looking at? Yeah, they're next. And then we do these two. Winners of these two. Then we do winners, losers, grand. One, two, three, four, five matches, potentially six left in the tournament. And by matches, I mean sets. Okay, 14 Beth Cup is when I get um, PS Plus. That's how I like to open this match. Fireball, fireball, red fireball. He could have comboed low forward out of that. I mean, stand forward. That was enough time. I like the defense. You don't have to win fast. You only have to win. This is how I play this matchup. Oh, no. Very nice. Good confirm. Didn't have much time for that one. Surprised there was no boom after that jab. No autocorrect flash kick. It was kind of risky there. The range wasn't that good. I think that was just the empty jump low. Didn't work out for him. No crouch fierce. He was timid, but cr I, even the light fireball would have gone over his head. Mm. 
Mm, didn't have charge, I think. Plus, he went for that again. He's already had that tactic. Both these characters have pretty good walk speed. Which make frame traps on them pretty hard. Whoa! Good. That was stand jab, stand... Stand jab crouch strong from the Akuma player. I think that stand jab is plus two. Crouch strong. So that's a four frame window. Theoretically. But it looked like boost broke it, broke it open with a low strong. Which is six frames. So if Eldram did that faster, he might have been able to fish for a counter hit. Ah, oh, crouch jab rather than a throw tech. Smart there. Throw would have worked though. That was Palm. He steered it wrong. Palm would have worked there. You can steer. Kuma's raging or er, his team flip. Hey Dime, I saw your message. That's get that. Nice. This is a lot of damage. Tasuka means help me. So that's Top Gun, right? Everyone get out of here. This looks clean. Alright, Neon V. Neon V. Neon V. Underscore. I said a weird flashback to typing that name before. I'm on this console. Then we got Shadow Ace, BCW underscore Shadow. And Spab, who already joined. So, technically speaking, it's Neon versus Shadow. This is going to be a this is going to be a brutal one. Just a second. Where is just just a second? So I've readied up. That's not correct. That's the opposite of correct. Neon versus Shadow. Oh my god, he... <sighs> we can do this, guys. We can do this. Alright. These two are supposed to be playing. So Shadow Ace plays like Laura and Ken and someone else? Rashid? I think. That's like a pretty good variety of characters, to be honest. Oh, no Ken? Who was the Ken?
Round start, Perry. What does that catch? Hard Mixer probably would have worked there. Hard Mixer actually has like a decent anti cross up box. Alright, got the combo. Was that counter hit? It looked like I think I saw counter hit there. Counter hit you can link stand forward. Better link, more damage. Mid air connect. Don't think there's a juggle there. The only thing she has with juggle potential is V skill. And um, run follow ups. Is that. It didn't destroy the tornado. It probably destroyed two hits of the tornado. With the right placement, it might destroy all three. That was nice. Neon Vius. <laughs> Crouch jab. That's a three frame button, I think. Sick as a dog. You want me to get you some chicken noodle soup? I wouldn't mind being sick. No, I took off some sick time not so long ago. I wouldn't mind being sick. I don't want to be sick. Punish? Crash jab? Ah. Oh. Crash jab light mixer. That's the correct punish. He's going to die for that. Huh? That could have been a much longer combo. I think that could have killed. Maybe not killed, but like a lot closer to it. That was really bad. I think that he wanted... I get it. I think he wanted meaty hail, hailstorm. The timing of that super was super, really strange. But I think he just like missed his input. He wanted meaty hailstorm into like a jumping combo. into That explains why he got to that range and why he did it with that timing. Meaty hailstorm into like a jumping combo. Ah, oh, that's a parry. Shadow Ice could make this comeback. He's absolutely capable. He's especially got the super. Colleen has to be super careful with her runs. And like the right combo will just kill right now. Like that. That would have actually killed. The short low jab light makes her super. That could have been the same combo. He should try and win without super now, but you know. Ugh! I'm pretty sure that she could have done something there. Only two hits. Three hits would have killed. <gasps> Yo, get a fucking blocked anything except that. Anything except that. Anything except that. I'm sorry I said that. That was literally the one thing. It should have been like a raw eagle spike, not a raw EX mixer. That was like not a bad thing to do at that mm, stage in the match, though. So. Wow, that got really close. Spab versus Arm. I'm sure this has happened a few times too. Sorry, got super instead of hailstorm. I knew it. I knew it. I was correct. And the motion is super similar. Hailstorm is DP plus punch. Super is double quarter circle plus punch. I don't think this matchup is bad, but goddamn do I get stressed as the Ibuki. I find Stan Short's pretty good in this matchup. So is B-Skill. Winning with Ibuki's normals against Alex's normals, his range is a lot bigger. But V-Skill like, totally turns that around. All of a sudden, all of your V-Skills beat all of his attacks. 
Back throw's a pretty bad punish there, but... Um, getting Alex cornered was really important, so... Whoa! Didn't combo. He needed that, too. This is, What is this pressure? Why is he neutral jumping so much? That's plus. This will probably kill with the X. Pow. That was some really weird Ibuki pressure. Ooh, nice. And the right out. No crouch fierce. Alex can alter his jump arc, so the only safe way to anti-air him, 100% safe, is to, um, my struggle. Early light DP. Good block. Oh my god, that was still in range? What the fuck? Damn, it's Bab's team. Ominous and um, Neon looking pretty good. We watched them a lot. I thought Shadow Ice and Spabob would win the whole thing. The team name was sh fucking Shadow Spab. Omnion is a pretty good name too, to be honest. Did you miss any highlights? You missed the whole tournament. I thought Shadow Spab would win the whole thing. GG's, I guess. My favorite. That was a p person leaving noise. Why do people leave? Oh my god. Wrong ominous. Why do people leave? Look at the bracket. You're the only match left. This is Sonic versus Neon. Oh god, Neon wants Sonic. No, but I had it right. Yeah, throw range keeps surprising me. What the fuck was that? That was aggressive. What kind of read was that? He was on the meaty. Really nice shimmy. Huh? Is that like the time? Is that a bait? You don't need to bait Nash. I don't know what that was. Maybe he was trying to whiff it and then throw. Nice. Good reactions. Huh! <laughs> really good reaction there, too. Ooh. She can actually V reverse to punish that if she has a uh, V bar, which she didn't there. Good punish. Actually, a bad punish. She could have canceled that DX hands. Very tricky. The strongest plus. I think plus two. Good overhead. Colleen's overhead is pretty good. The range you can have it cover with the step, the fact that it's plus one on hit. And she has a 3-frame normal.
Oh. Oh, that could have been a punish. Times two. Good low strong. That was probably should have just been the jab. Dude, Sonic Soul is looking really clean this round. Oh my god, it just got better and better. That was a series of good plays. The delayed overhead by itself, and then the throw afterwards. He played. He changed his gameplay style a lot, and it helped him a lot. Oh my god, did I just beat Low Strong? Because that sure looked like it beat Low Strong. Ugh, this is almost done. This is this won't kill. Colleen doesn't have the damage to kill here. Oh my god, doesn't have the damage to do anything. Always smash your throws. I mean your stuns. Chose not to super. Chose to use his super bar. He's still in this. Mm, that is intelligent. That is intelligent. Wow, reads. Maybe he was just whiffing that. To build some meter or something. That was nice. I don't think... No, Neon's had to have lost a match to even be in this position. Losers. He's been looking really good this whole tournament, though. I played this matchup a lot. I really like it for Go. I really like it for Go. Bruce Lee seems to know the matchup pretty well. The only thing you have to be even a little bit mindful of is Alex's charge. And even then, like, his EX moves are, like, kind of unsafe. Well, not really. EX stomp is safe if you block it. It just can be anti-aired. But EX, uh, slash is really unsafe. He needs, like, prediction... And bar and charge to like anti fireball, which is super good for Gal. Shouldn't that have been back short or like, um, ooh, big punish. He went for max. That was a good counter poke with the uh, stand strong there. Boost has got the B trigger on deck. He might never get the opportunity. Oh no! That is the worst thing that can happen to you! That was a really aggressive read. Oh, that's that might actually kill. No. Nah. You have to do the dash in. Watch that charge. Wow! I can't shake the feeling that Boost just got a little bit lucky. Especially because Stomp would have worked there. Alright. Oh, that was like the cancel. That was weird. Doesn't that never work anymore? Neat. Ooh, okay. Alright, alright. Another one? Yep. He needed that really badly. Went for the stand strong. 
if it was a punish, it would have come into the V trigger. The throw. Boost really likes the five into the repeated dashes and then the mix up between the towards roundhouse and the throw. It's a pretty good mix up. Good block. Nice. Boost versus um, Neon then. Sonic Soul's probably like, damn, I picked a good teammate. This is potentially like his third time getting, um, no, second time. Third time? I don't know. Getting carried by boost. There's a lot of teams I wouldn't have expected here. That's why it's so funny. A lot of people who wouldn't normally have joined, like, other people got them to join just so they would, like, so they would have a teammate. So we got a bunch of new entrants for doing this tournament, which is pretty cool. I can't believe Top Gun is memeing its way through this tournament. Shut up, Tim. I'm not even sure you've lost. Antier V Antier Boom is pretty good. Wow. Mouse on screen. Went for the parry, but boost went low. Guile has a decent potential to go low or mid. His lows are okay. Very very meaty sand strong. Alright. Again, no uh step. I think doing the V trigger by itself does more stun than doing the step crouch roundhouse into V trigger. But maybe less damage and probably less corner carry. To be 100% honest, I'm not really sure what um, Colleen's supposed to do against most fireballs. Whoa, that's got to be after a jump in boost. Fast fireballs seem really hard for her to deal with. Her main answer is to, like, do a step into punch follow-up. Like, light step into punch, or EX light step into punch. Nice. Far jump, far stand forward. That's exactly the place you hit that button. Anyway, that, like, doesn't work if... You have to, like, react really fast and also be kind of close. Which makes it not as good. That was a trade. Really unusual one. Boost is actually controlling the screen really well. He's making this look really unpleasant. Oh god. He could have flash kicked there. That would have been crazy if he got it. Alright, you're being a little aggressive with that shit. Flash kick punishes. The forward is not a punish. You can get countered for that shit. Good time to do that. Really good time to do that. She burns her entire V-trigger immediately. Yeah, I did call it far stand forward. It's just stand forward, isn't it? Huh? If you do empty jump throw against... Oh, flash kick punishes that. Wow! <laughs> Boost! That was pretty nice. Boost has been holding it down. So laggy. Uh-oh. Good run, Neon V. Good run, Ominous. You guys kind of tore it up. You were on stream probably the most of anyone. Um, everyone get out. I'm going to change the rules to 2 out of 3. 
And now the real tournament starts. Now money is on the line. Disco Vigilante and Zeta Zeta. And Big Bates and 4H Tim. I invited the wrong disco again. Alright, we're getting there. Big Bates is always late. I guess I'll add him, just so you know. Oh, let me change the rules. So this one is um Tim? Tim is Tim is uh, Tim is first, yeah. Tim versus Disco. And Bates versus Zeta. That's gonna be a good one. We actually are in for a long haul. Request to change shitlords to fuck men. First to three, please. It's already set to first to three. Or rather, it's... First to three, no! It's first to two. Tim versus Disco, here we go. We'll be here all night if it's first to three. First of two per person. But otherwise the rules remain. There's five dollars on the line for two of you. Play like you're play like you could play like you could get five McChickens. Play like you could get five hundred Tootsie rolls in the fifties. <laughs> 